I want to speak briefly as I can on miracles in worship. There is nothing that can be compared to the offering of worship. Thank God for the monies that we gave. For the cattle on a thousand hills that belong to him. He created innumerable company of angels to worship him. But despite that innumerable company of angels, he values your worship. As we enter into this new year, my charge for you is that you will make it a culture to worship him. It doesn't matter whether your voice is sweet or croaky. That's not what matters. He is seeking for those who will worship him in spirit and in truth. What he needs from you is worship in spirit and in truth. Irrespective of whether there is melody or no melody. Am I talking to somebody here? So don't say, oh, I don't know how to worship. Let your spirit man worship him. Praise the Lord. In the old covenant, he dedicated a tribe in Israel to just worship him. The tribe of the Levites. He dedicated them to just worship him. They were not to work. In fact, the Bible records that their God was their portion. He shared the land to everyone, all the other tribes. Whatever was reserved for God was given to them. Because of the premium and the value he places on worship. So he made them priests. But today, I have good news for you. Revelations chapter 5 verse 10 And has made us unto God Kings and priests And we shall reign on the earth You were not just made a king You were made a priest And the function of a priest Is to worship And to lead others to worship is to offer unto him not just the sacrifices for our sins that was what the high priest was known for doing but the priest you are to offer unto him the sacrifices of your lips the sacrifices of praise the sacrifices of worship so when you are not worshiping him you are not operating in the priestly office when you are not worshiping him what what have i just said when you are not worshiping him you are not operating in the priestly office when you bring in your gifts when you bring your money let it be enveloped in the garment of worship praise the lord Second Chronicles chapter 20 God had to change the priesthood from the Levitical priesthood so that all of us can be baptized into the priesthood of Christ are you in Second Chronicles chapter 20 this year you will win by worship <laughs> this year you will win your battles by worship you have fasted you have prayed what a wisdom of god that our father would institute that we end our annual prayer and fasting with miracles in worship what a wisdom i want us to read a long account of second chronicles chapter 20 and i want you to be very particular about the strategy that you will adopt to win all battles this year 
Now it came to pass after this that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon and others with them besides the Ammonites came against Jehoshaphat to battle. Many will come to battle with you this year but in the name of the Lord you will defeat them all. Then there came some who told Jehoshaphat saying There comes a great multitude against you from beyond the sea On this side of Syria And behold there are in Hazazon Tamar Which is in Engedi And Jehoshaphat feared And set himself to seek the Lord And he proclaimed a fast throughout all Judea are all Judah hear me let your fear drive you to God and not drive you away from God am I talking to somebody here if you receive any news that threatens you uh, turn to God am I talking to someone here if you receive any intimidating news uh, don't run to man uh, run to God as soon as Jehoshaphat heard that three nations had moved against him uh, he did the wisest thing he ran to God verse 4 then Judah gathered themselves together to ask help from the Lord even out of all the cities of Judah they came to seek the Lord may I announce to you uh, you will find help you will find help Everyone that has need for help, hear the word of the Lord. Help is available to you. It is an error for you to turn to man for help. Cursed is every man that turns to another man for help. Never you make that mistake. But God told Jeremiah, Blessed is every man that puts his trust in the Lord. This year, my trust shall be in the Lord. Verse 5. Then Jehoshaphat stood in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court as we are standing here this morning and verse 6 he said let's go oh Lord God of our fathers are you not God in heaven and do you rule over all the kingdoms of the nations and in your hand is there not power and might so that no one is able to stand against you are you not our God who drove out the inhabitants of this land before your people Israel and gave it to the seed of Abraham your friend forever and they dwelled in Eid and have built you a sanctuary in Eid for your name saying if calamity comes on us as the sword judgment or pestilence or famine we will stand before this house and in your presence for your name is in this house and cry out to you in our affliction and you will hear and help I want to charge you brothers and sisters if trouble comes knocking run to God When trouble comes knocking, run to his altar. Hezekiah brought the letter by Sennacherib who wrote a letter to 
confront him and intimidate him he brought it to the altar and presented it before God hear me anyone that intimidates you bring him to the court of heaven bring that letter to this altar and the God of Salem will answer you by fire Jehoshaphat gave God a strong reason. Come on, let's read verse 10. And now behold, the children of Ammon and Moab and Mount Sir, whom you would not let Israel invade when they came out of the land of Egypt, but they turned from them and did not destroy them. Behold, they reward us by coming to cast us out of your possession and that, that you have given us to inherit. Oh, our God will you not judge them for we have no might against this great company that comes against us neither do we know what to do however our eyes are upon you hallelujah verse 13 and Judah stood before the Lord with their little ones, their wives and their children. Then on Jehaziel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Benaiah, the son of Jael, the son of Mataniah, a Levite of the sons of Asaph, came the Spirit of the Lord in the middle of the assembly, as the Spirit of the Lord is upon me now. And he said, Hearken all you of Judah and your inhabitants of Salem and you King Enobon thus say the Lord to you do not be afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude <laughs> for the battle is not yours the Lord's I like to speak to someone here every battle the enemy wages against you is taken over by the Lord don't fight any battle alone I know you have read up to PhD I know you have masters I know you have people in positions of authority but I want to please beseech you I beg of you stop fighting your battles alone turn that battle to God if you have God you do not need to go into battles with the arm of flesh am I talking to somebody here they do not be afraid put your right hand on your heart and said I will not be afraid of whatever multitude gather against me my trust is in the law my trust is in the law from today I turn all my battles unto God and he will fight for me and I will hold my peace when the Bible says you will not have need to fight in this battle you will hold your peace the battle is the Lord's it does not mean that you should fold your hands are you following me it doesn't mean that you should be reckless you should fold your hands what he's simply saying is that I will give you instructions on what to do per time to overcome your enemy <laughs> verse 16 began to give instructions tomorrow go down against them behold they come up by the cliff of Z's God will give you direction he will reveal the secrets of your enemies to you 
he will tell you where they are coming from he will tell you what they are planning be oh my god from today you will go a step ahead of your enemies that's why you must live a life of worship because the bible says that he inhabits the praises of his people so when you are gifted or if you're given to a worship life a fasted life you will be you will have your frequency to heaven opened up to hear him at all times beginning from today it shall not be about you it shall be about the scripture concerning your life written in heaven is somebody getting me here it was said of Jesus he said it is written in the volume of the books concerning me lo I come to do your will listen to me folks you he gave you a mind as he gave everybody a mind but that mind must not be corrupted he said let your mind be renewed in Romans chapter 12 verse 2 he said be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may know that good acceptable and perfect will of God God wants you to have your mind recalibrated renewed he wants your mind to connect to the mind of Christ he wants your antenna to be hooked up to the antenna of heaven oh some people are talking about 5G there is something more than 5G there is 7G there is 10G am I talking to somebody here you need to connect to H G G Holy Ghost frequency you will hear God with clarity in the mighty name of Jesus the king had a dream and said go and bring all the astrologers and all the necromancers if you don't tell me the dream all of you your head will be cut off they call Daniel Daniel said look what's the urgency about can you just give me a little time just tell the king to hold it just give me a little time and he went that night he went and contacted the frequency of heaven and the king <laughs> everything that transpired in the bedroom of the king was downloaded to Daniel and then the next morning he said look we are ready for the king can we have access to him he downloaded everything that happened in his bedchamber this year beginning from today may you hear from God with clarity yes you've got your money to buy the ticket yes you've got your connections yes you've put everything in place but please can you pause for a while and connect to heaven for clarity of purpose clarity of mission clarity of vision so you don't go burn your fingers you are not alone you have a father you have your lord and you have the holy spirit he will help you this year praise the lord verse 17 he said you will not need to fight in this battle position yourselves and stand second chronicles 20 17 position yourself and stand and you will see the salvation of the lord with you O judah and O Salamites and delete Jeru Jeru means land if you remove the land what is left? Salem so he's addressing you praise the Lord O Salem do not fear nor be dismayed tomorrow go out against them for the Lord is with you so you see you see he said you will not need to fight in this battle the battle is the Lord's 
and now he's giving him instructions the challenge with the church today is that we don't wait for instructions as a leader have you interviewed a young girl who says i want to marry her? and then you ask him how did you know that he is the will of god for you he said i prayed though but i didn't hear god say anything but i just have peace I prayed though. I didn't hear God saying. I said, you call the brother. He come. How did you know that this girl is the will of God for you? Is your wife? Mm, I prayed though. But uh, I didn't hear God. I didn't hear anything. See this man standing here. I told God if I don't hear from you, no woman will enter my, my house or my life. Somebody told me that he had a dream. She had a dream. I was praying for pregnant women. And then suddenly she came out from my room to come and assist me. I said, you saw the first side, but the second side, you didn't see well. That, maybe in the future, I'll be praying for pregnant women. And I'm now praying for pregnant women. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And God gave me a revelation about pregnant women from Exodus chapter 1. I just need to speak to you. Your pregnancy shall be the five S. God gave me a revelation about it. Praise the Lord. Your delivery shall be swift. Your delivery shall be smooth. Somebody you will deliver a miracle this week. So your delivery shall be swift. Your delivery shall be smooth. You carrying the pregnancy of that house, of that job, of that contract, of that deal, you shall be strong. You shall not be weak. Am I talking to somebody here? And your miracle shall be safe. Is somebody hearing me? Your miracle shall be safe and your miracle shall be sound. 